one thing that is closely associated with diabetes, it is none other than obesity. Obesity goes almost hand in hand with most of the cases of diabetes mellitus. For instance, if you look at the proportion of people who have type 2 diabetes and also have obesity, the numbers would be alarmingly high. If I have to quote a number, that would be somewhere around 70 to 80 percent in the Indian subcontinent. If people were to really look into what is common in the pathophysiology of both the conditions, it is the very fact that the obese individu individuals tend to have what we call as insulin resistance. That means the body is unable to utilize the insulin present in the body for its needs whenever the person is obese. Hence the reason why obese individuals tend to develop what we call as type 2 diabetes mellitus through a mechanism called insulin resistance. Then what else is common? If you look at what else is common, we do have high blood pressure in both type 2 diabetics and obese. We do have other features such as what we call as polycystic ovarian syndrome in women. We do have um, common problems such as arthralgias and aches and pains specifically pertaining to their joints which are weight bearing such as your knees and not to forget what we call as sleep apnea syndrome wherein people have breathing problems and these are all very common in individuals who have obesity and develop type 2 diabetes mellitus. Also it is very important to remember that the cure of these patients lies in the actual cause of the problem. For instance if an obese individual has type 2 diabetes mellitus, then if the person can lose small amount of weight, then the treatment can significantly go low, i.e. the medications can be decreased significantly if the person can lose weight. In fact, there are cases wherein people who are obese lost their weight by about 10 to 15 kilos and could come out of all their medications completely relevant to diabetes mellitus. Also, it is important to quote that most of the complications of obesity are due to diabetes mellitus. For instance, people can develop heart attacks, brain strokes, people can also develop other problems such as kidney failure, so on and so forth if they have obesity and develop type 2 diabetes mellitus. One an another si very significant problem which is common for both obese and type 2 diabetic individuals is what we call as dyslipidemia. That means having high quantities of or high levels of bad cholesterol. And again, this could be mitigated by just simply losing weight. We know that it is not all that easy, but if someone were to have type 2 diabetes mellitus and being obese, then if they can manage to lose some amount of weight by means of lifestyle, appropriate medications, or uh, by means of eating the right kind of food, or rather not eating junk food, or by uh, doing regular exercise, last but not the least using um, rarely what we call as bariatric surgical techniques then they can in fact make sure that their diabetes is very well controlled thank you mm -hmm.